Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome to my 2019 Disney World haul. As some of you guys might be aware, I went to Disney World from the beginning or middle of April. I think it was the 7th of April we went there until about a week after that. It was with my friend Rukaya. All the vlogs are now up, so if you want to go and watch them, I'll leave the link down below. There's a whole playlist of them. There's six parts and we had an amazing time. It was the shortest time I've ever spent at Disney World actually because we only had six days in the parks. Um, but it was still amazing. It was like, it was actually kind of enough for me, I'm not gonna lie. But of course, I bought quite a lot of things. Like literally, I'm currently on the bed and the rest of the bed is full of stuff. You can't see them at the moment, but it is full of things. So yes, I'm very excited to show them to you. Also, we did go to Universal one of the days and because I only bought maybe like two or three things from Universal, I'm gonna include the things I bought from there here as well in this video, as well as uh, the Disney store in New York, because we also visited New York after Disney World, which was amazing. We got to see quite a lot of shows. The vlogs for that are also up on my channel, so if you want to check those out, go and do so. But yes, without further ado, let's get to it. I feel like, as with any Disney World haul, or any Disney video haul that I see anyway, let's start with the free stuff. I do this because it's not necessarily free, you still kind of pay for it, but um, the magic band. So this time I decided to go for a red magic band. I normally try and basically uh, try a different colour every time I go. I've never gone for the same colour because I don't see the point, you know? So the first time I went for, the, for blue, my very first visit, obviously because that's my favourite colour. I've been through like, I think yellow, I've done pink, I've done purple. I've also got a grey one for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and uh, yeah, this time I decided to go for red, which actually kind of matches the top that I'm wearing today, which I really like. It's from Disneyland Paris, if if you're wondering and I really enjoy it but yeah I really enjoyed the red magic band it went with uh, most of my outfits that I was wearing I'm actually gonna put it on now just so I can feel like I'm back at Disney World for the next I don't know 20 minutes or so they had a new cups uh, this time around at least new to me like i would never seen these before so basically if you're on the dining plan when you go to Disney World you get to um, collect a refillable cup or a mug or whatever you want to call it when you first get to Disney World and then you can have that throughout your vacation and uh, yeah you can refill it with whatever you want in the resorts um, I went for this one because because it's got Buzz on it, Toy Story. So it's a Pixar one, which I really enjoy. So there's a uh, Buzz, we've got an alien here. We've got uh, Dory and is it Marlin, I think? Yeah, not Nemo. We've got Cars, Lightning McQueen here. Have we got any other Disney, uh, also your Pixar characters here? I think that's about it. But oh, we've got giraffe, there's a giraffe here. And you guys know how I feel about giraffes, I love them. So all in all, I just saw this and I thought, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to get this one as a big Pixar fan, it's gonna have to be my one. My friend Makai got another one that I actually probably preferred in terms of like aesthetics. It looks a bit better and cooler. That was only like Mickey, I think. It was mainly Mickey and maybe Minnie. It was very much like black red and white which are three of my favorite colors to wear and kind of look at uh, but she went for that and I wanted to go something different uh, the only thing I don't like about this is the pinkness I just don't like this shade of pink very much but unfortunately they only had pink ones like if they had a blue one I would have gone for that but where I collected it from from the Caribbean Beach Resort Hotel um, they only had ones with pink lids whatever I didn't even use it that much I never use them much because I don't drink fizzy drinks so I only ever use these for like water and hot chocolate and that's maybe like once or twice throughout our stay we also got given some stickers throughout our stay there in different places and parks and stuff this is probably my favorite one I don't know how well you can see it right now there you go so this is from the 50s primetime diner cafe uh, they gave the yeast to me and my friend Rukaya um, at the end of the meal I think it was which is really nice because it says clean plates club because we both managed to finish our plates it's a cute little touch I don't remember them giving one to me last time I went a couple of years ago I love that restaurant it's one of my favorites I'd say not the best food necessarily but I think I just really enjoy the vibe of it and this is the buzz one I got given like I think I got a woody one a buzz one and a jesse one for some reason I can't find the other two at the moment but I've still got the buzz one which I'm going to probably put on my wardrobe right let's get to the real stuff now we're going to start with ears because <laughs> I got a lot of ears. I try and justify it to myself because I know that I go to Disney parks on a regular basis, so I feel like getting and buying Disney ears is an investment, really, because I use them. Like, it's not that I only wear them that one time on that holiday and that's it. I know that I'll get to wear them in the future. So I did end up buying quite a few pairs. We'll start with one of my favorites, actually, and this is um, th this is more word ears, that as soon as I found out they were around, I was like, I need to find them and then when I saw them I was like yeah I, I definitely need them the only thing I don't like about them is the goldness here just because gold is just not one of my favorite colors I don't think it really suits me but it's okay I love the bow I think it's so nice and colorful with all the little dolls and like the sun here as well on the back oh it's so cute love this bit here which says hello I would assume yeah yeah there you go hello here on the back it says goodbye love this whole kind of um, smallest face clock love the pink sparkly stuff here let me put them on for you so 
uh, you can see what it looks like. I didn't actually wear these uh, because I got them, I think it was towards the end of our holiday. I don't remember when I got them, but I don't think I had any like outfits necessarily that match these. But again, the good thing about these is is that I can wear them in Disneyland Paris as well, or any Disney parks I go that has any sort of small world ride, even if they don't have a small world. In fact, are there any Disney parks that don't have a small world in them? When I went to Shanghai Disneyland, I don't remember there being any small world there, but that was like three years ago. Maybe they've opened one by now, who knows? But yeah, I really enjoyed them and uh, yeah, I thought it was a good investment. The next pair, <laughs> these are probably some of my favourites as well, are these ones lord have legit mercy i found these in epcot in mouse gear and I, I think i'd seen them before maybe on instagram but when i saw them i was like these need to be bought immediately i love the bow i think the bow is insane like really good material just i just love how kind of big it is and i don't know it's just really nice and i love the lollipop ears as well very very cool i did wear these one day in epcot got some nice photos with them as well by the bubblegum wall I love these a lot, I just I kind of like the fact that they're basically these are solid plastic which means they won't really move about much. It also means that they, they're both very much round, like you know when normally you want to buy a pair of these you have to like look through them for like 25 minutes trying to find the perfect pair because not like you know every single one of them is different. With these ones at least you know that the circular shapes of them will always be the same so I didn't have to waste too much time trying to find the best one. The next pair of these are actually probably some of my favourites as well. I, I say that about all of them to be honest but look how cute these ones are guys. Like, oh, the colour of them are just, just the colour of the ears themselves, kind of navyish colour I love a lot. I love the this shade of pink as the bow, I think that's really nice. I love the dots, I think they're really nice as well. I don't know, I just think it's just it's just beautiful it's a really good combination of colors blues and pinks and, and whites and you know these are some of my favorite colors i did wear these basically uh, quite a lot actually on one of my epcot days look at these like they, they can go with anything as well i feel like it's very easy to match these with outfits you know you've got the blues you've got the pinks i've, I've got i've had quite a lot of blue outfits a lot of pink stuff so yeah I love these a lot. The next pair I actually got for my friend Sharika because she's a big Aladdin fan and her favourite character, I think, or one of her favourite characters is Jasmine. She's basically Jasmine to me, I sometimes call her Jasmine. And so I saw these and uh, I obviously had to get them for her, I'd never seen them before. These are Aladdin or Jasmine is, and I think they are so clever, like the bow is basically the carpet from Aladdin, how clever is that? I think that's so cool. Love this a lot. Love the little jewellery thing, the little, girl, um, what do you call it, bejazzled, whatever, in the middle. I love the colour, obviously, as well. Very much jasmine. Like, you see these and straight away you're like, these are jasmine ears. And, um, yeah, that's what the tag is still here. If you're wondering how much they were, um, I don't know if I should say or not. Should we go, if you watch this, soz, uh, $27.99 they were. But that's kind of the standard, to be honest, for ears these days. Um, yeah, I think they're really, really nice, and I think they'll really suit Sharika as well. Hopefully we'll get to go to either Disney World one day, like, that's the dream. We both really want to go together one day, but we don't know when that's going to happen. But Disneyland Paris is definitely more reasonable, and we'll probably go there sometime this year. I'm going to put them on very quickly just so you guys can see what it looks like. I really enjoy them, like, very, very nice. And you can easily, like, Disney band as Jasmine with them, if you want to, like, kind of be full on Jasmine. Imagine, like, having these ears and, like, wearing something like this shade of, like, uh, blue is it turquoise and then yeah I feel like you can do a lot with these ears. The next things I want to show you um well the next thing I want to show you is a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing this guys because I've got so many jigsaw puzzles but I've always been a fan of puzzles since I was a child like I don't know I just do them all the time I enjoy them a lot and like I don't have any more space for them to be honest because the boxes take up a lot of space and the thing is I don't want to give them away as well because I know that I'll do them again like a lot of my puzzles I've done like loads of times not just once um so i feel like i just saw this and i was like it's just gonna have to happen guys and this is it it's a very simple design but it's basically disney world in a nutshell it's disney world in a in a puzzle it's a thousand pieces which is what i like i don't like anything that's less than a thousand because it's just too easy a, a puzzle that's like a thousand pieces for me maybe takes about five hours to make uh, whereas anything that's smaller takes like two hours or something and that's just it's for me it's not as fun as and as challenging um so that's why i try and go for anything that's something that's over a thousand pieces but um yes yeah, so we've got the epcot ball here we've got magic kingdom here animal kingdom my favorite park here we've got hollywood studios i just really enjoyed the design i thought it was very nice simplistic but also tells a story very well like it basically shows you everything you want from Disney World in a very simplistic manner. I feel like it's gonna be very fun to do as well because there's loads of details on it which is gonna be fun to fun to make. I also got a lot of mugs guys I, I told myself not to and to be fair I could have got a lot more I think I only got about two or something um, for myself anyway but uh, 
there were still just so many beautiful mugs in Disney World, it's hard not to get them. So the first one I bought was actually from Starbucks, because they do the Been There series, is that what they're called? I mean, that's what it says here. And I have quite a few of these Starbucks mugs from my previous Disney World trips. Um, and I get them from other like countries I go to as well, if I like the design of them, and mostly most of the time I do. They're just really cute. And Starbucks, weirdly, is like a big part of my Disney World trips. I don't know why. Like, regularly, when I'm in London, I very rarely go to Starbucks. Like maybe once every three months I might go to Starbucks, if that. But yeah, in Disney World, because they're everywhere and like the smell of them, they've got so many cute like, I don't know, snacks and stuff. It's just a part of my holiday, so it kind of reminds me of Disney World. So, um, there you go. I got this one. If you're wondering how much this is, there's say on here it doesn't even though the tag is still there i'm gonna open it for you um weirdly it's the hollywood studios one so even though that's definitely not my favorite park it's the one that stood out to me the most i don't know why probably because of um toy story they've got some toy story stuff on there don't they i'm pretty sure i saw toy story stuff that's why i wanted to buy it let me find it yeah there you go so if it focuses oof, we've got like jesse here and um, Toy Story Mania, the ride here. We've got the dragon from, obviously it's Maleficent, but it's from Fantasmic. Again, I don't know how well you guys can see this. Hopefully you can. There you go, that's better. We've got the dragon here. We've got the Fantasia Mickey hat, which is my favorite Mickey. We've got Starbucks here. Let's continue on the other side. We've got Aerosmith. We've got Hollywood Tower of Terror, one of my favorite rides there. Um, and yeah, I just felt like of all the ones that I saw, of all the new uh, Been There series mugs that I saw from different parks, this was my favourite just because of the design of it. Really enjoyed it. It's um, kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Burgundy-ish maybe? In the inside of it. And um, yeah, I liked it a lot. It was very hard not to buy the other three, I'm not going to lie, because like I said, these are the new designs that have come out uh, for the Been There series and like, it would have been nice to get all of them. But I stopped myself when I went for my favourite one of the designs, which was Hollywood Studios ones. Another mug that I got is actually from my friend Sophie, because she told me, I don't even know where and when it was, maybe about like a year and a half ago, a year ago, I don't know. Basically, she's a big Disney fan as well, and um, she said that her dad accidentally broke quite a lot of her Disney mugs about a year ago, and she was really sad, and she wanted to kind of rebuild her Disney mug collection, and she loves Disney princesses, so whenever I go to a Disney park, I'm always on the lookout for any like Disney princess mugs that I think she might like, that she might not be able to maybe get in... In London like the Disney store wouldn't have it here and I saw this one it was really hard they had some nice ones there um, but I saw this one and I for me I thought it, it was my personal favorite and I thought maybe she'd appreciate it as well I'm actually giving this to her today which is why I'm filming this right now because it's her, it's her birthday in a few days time but I'm seeing her today for her birthday blah 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 so I thought I'd show this to you I just really like it um, it's kind of wrapped here and let me show this to you oh it is so so cute so this is the mug. Wow. The reason I love it, guys, is because I think it's really nice and subtle. Like, you wouldn't, like, automatically be able to tell this is a Disney princess mug unless you're a big fan. So you've got, like, Aladdin sort of here, Jasmine. We've got, oh, I can't even see. Is that meant to be, like, Elsa's castle? Um, we've got a castle here. We've got a castle here. We've got Rapunzel's tower here. We've got, it's really hard to see, guys, right now because I'm, like, looking on the thing. What's here? Oh, what's that bit meant to be? I'm not quite sure, but basically... Oh, there you go, like, that's really nice. Basically, yeah, it's all the... All, well, not all of them necessarily, but most of the Disney princesses uh, and their towers and, like, their locations and where they live. I think that is so, so pretty, and it's a good size mug. And inside it here, it says Once Upon a Time, uh, which is really nice. Really, really cute. And the once, look at the little crown on the once. Can you see that? Oh, I don't know. I just really liked it. I thought it was really, really nice. It's a good size, you can like hold it very nicely, it's a good shape and it's got basically all the princesses on it once upon a time. Oh my god! And on the other side, I've only just noticed it. Here it says happily ever after. That is so cute. So on one bit you said it says once upon a time and the other side is happily ever after. Can you imagine just like drinking your coffee and then like seeing this beautiful, oh this is so nice. Like I really love it and hopefully Sophie will enjoy it as well. The next mug I'm going to show you I actually got from the Disney store in New York in Times Square. Uh, I only got a couple of things from there but um, I saw this mug and I just really liked. I thought it was quite a simplistic nice mug uh, and it was like a nice little mem memory from the Disney store for me and this is what it is. It's basically mini as the Statue of Liberty and I think it's got like yeah like th 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 random words written on like Manhattan and like New York words on it which is quite cool. My actually my, my favourite side of this mug though weirdly is the other side of it which literally just says like Disney store 
um, Times Square, I think. And I really enjoyed that logo in the middle as well. Um, yeah, on this side it says New York, New York City, this side a Disney Store NYC official. I like it, I think again it's a good size mug, you can actually use it. I thought why not, this was $12.95, so not too bad. The next mug I'm going to show you, <laughs> I actually got from uh, Frozen, when I went to see Frozen the Musical on Broadway, which was amazing. Go and check out my vlog for that if you haven't, because I loved it, cannot wait for it to come to London. And I already knew before I went that I was going to get this mug, because I'd like looked it up online about like, the merchandise they had. Um, it came in this little box here, and um, it's so nice. I really like it anyway, guys. So it's really nicely bubble wrapped as well. Let me, let me, let me open it for you. This is what the mug looks like. Look how nice! I love this snowflake design so, so much. I love this shade of blue, like it's probably my favourite shade of blue actually, you guys know blue's my favourite colour, but I just love this colour, this shade a lot. On the other side it just says Disney's Frozen on Broadway, which is really nice. And um, I'm not quite sure, but I think that the, this might change colour when you put drinks in it, I'm not sure. Even if it doesn't, I don't care because it looks nice as it is. Um, they also had like a slightly different blue version of this with the same design. And this is like 3D as well. I don't know if you can tell or not, but like... Oh, it's just so nicely designed, I can't even tell you. I love this a lot. Right, let's get to the random bits and bobs that I got. Um, this thing here... I don't even know, guys. I just... I couldn't not, you know, it's one of those things where I looked at it and I got excited, it made me happy and then I was like, I definitely don't need this, I've got way too many cushions anywhere, like, it's, it's not, like, there's no point in me getting this, but it was soft, I picked it up and I was like, this is honestly amazing, this is basically the Pixar ball as a cushion, it's got a star on it, you guys know how much I love stars, I mean, look at my tattoo here, I love it, I love Pixar, like, I had a Pixar ball uh, cake or something like that, yeah, a couple of years ago for my birthday, this is how much I enjoy Pixar, and um, this was, if you're wondering how much, $26.99, which is a lot for a cushion, but it's big, and I will make the most of it, like, I'll sleep on it, I enjoy it, I don't know, it was probably a stupid decision, to be honest, but I like it, and for now, I'm happy anyway, I'm I haven't regretted the decision yet. Speaking of balls, I also got two actual literal balls. Pixar ones, of course, again. I got these from Hollywood Studios. These were only $6.99 each, which I think is very reasonable. The smell of nice plastic. You guys know I love the smell of plastic for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you might be wondering why did I get two. I don't know, but I just thought, just in case I lose one of them, just in case I decide to actually play with one of them and then it, get, it gets damaged, I'd like to have one as a collection piece as well. Oh, I'm very weird. I know it's literally just a ball, but it just makes me happy, okay? I love Pixar so much. Let's continue. The next thing that I want to show you, I actually really like. So, um, I found this in the art shop in Epcot. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Like maybe the art shop? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And this is what it looks like. It's Mary Poppins. And it's basically, on the back it says, it's a collection of really nice lovely Mary Poppins prints um, so it says 20 gold foil embellished 5 times 7 inch note cards and envelopes to each of 10 designs I looked at the designs and I thought it was beautiful I love the packaging of this as well I just think it's really nice they had this for I think Pinocchio as well or maybe Alice in Wonderland um, unfortunately none of the none of the films that they had these for were like some of my favourite films uh, hopefully they'll bring out more of these because I think they're such a great idea as well it looks like a book if you can tell Literally, the box looks like a book, and obviously Mary Poppins is on it. I think it's a beautiful design. I got this for my friend Rebecca, by the way. It's not for me, if you're wondering, because I'm not the biggest Mary Poppins fan. Like, obviously, I enjoy Mary Poppins, but it's not one of my favourite films. Whereas Rebecca absolutely loves Mary Poppins. Like, every time I see Mary Poppins, I think of Rebecca, and I thought it'd be a nice little gift for her. Um, yeah, this is kind of what's inside, if you're wondering what you get inside of it. Um, and I'll show you the back as well, just to so get an idea of some of the prints. I just think it's so beautiful and for someone who's like a big fan of a Disney film I think it's a beautiful and very nice like present idea because I mean I would love that if somebody gave me this with like Toy Story or I don't know Pocahontas or one of my favourite Disney films like Hunchback I would be absolutely happy and I really hope Disney continues to do more of these like make more of these for other films as well what do we have in here I got these from the Marketplace Co-op for some reason I almost always get something from the Co-op uh, in Disney Springs when I go there I don't know why it's become a thing I just get like really random small bits and bobs and same time, same thing this time around. I got some cards, which I'm gonna show you. Let me put this down. So we've got this one first, which I think is adorable. It's, it's the Seven Dwarfs with Snow White. I just thought it was very, very cute. Um, I'm not sure like 
what made me buy it because Snow White I do love it's not my favorite film so I don't know if I bought it just because I like the design or if I wanted to give it to my friend Izzy because she loves Snow White I'm not sure like I don't remember why I got it but it's a really nice design nonetheless oh this one this one guys so Ariel really made an impact on me on this trip if you haven't checked out my vlogs go and check them out and you find out why it was when we were at uh, breakfast at the boardwalk hotel I think it's probably my part two vlog and um, I ended up actually liking the chick like I still think she's a bit weird and annoying like for what she does but I just saw this print and because of that memory I was like I have to get this for myself like look how cute the print is beautiful like even if you're not an Ariel fan which I am I'm slowly becoming one now <laughs> It's a beautiful print. I love the kind of dark blue background. I love Ariel in the middle with all the designs around her. Her hair looks beautiful. This was $4.99 if you're wondering. I just think it's very, very nice. And I'm definitely gonna put it on my wall or something. The next one is so cute as well. Again, I'm not sure if I got this for myself or if you know I got it with plans of giving it to someone. I probably will give it to someone. But, oh, I don't know though, Flynn's face. Look at this, guys. It's basically Rapunzel and Flynn, and Flynn's face just looks so cute. I don't know what it is about it. He looks so peaceful and in love. Oh, these prints are adorable. I love it so, so much. I don't know who the artist is. Oh, there you go. The artist is Gabby Zapata, if you're wondering. Amazing work. I adore it. Then I got this up one. This is for my friend Rokaya, actually, because I think she actually saw this print a few times and she like kind of commented about on it and said that she'd like to get it, but she didn't. Thankfully, I was really worried that she actually would. And I saw this and I was like, I always try and do this. Like I always try and get like a little card or something uh, from any trip that we go to. If I go on a trip basically with a friend, by the end of it, I'll try and get a card and just like send send it to them or give it to them with a little thank you note for the holiday. Um, and this one obviously reminded me of Rokaya because she loves a lot and um, I think it's a beautiful print again really really nice uh, it's Joey Chu uh, who's the artist for this and I really enjoy it and um, oh, look at that it's so cute this bit here is my favorite obviously so yeah I'm probably gonna give this to her, her next time I see her but there's a note in it as well the next one I got for myself because you very rarely get to see Hercules merch and I saw this and I thought this is cool so it's Megan Hercules on Pegasus it's a beautiful design again. I can't, like, oh lordy, like, literally. I hope you can see the beauty of it. This was done by Joey Chu as well. Same design as the previous one. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. The next one is a Fantasmic one, which again, not quite sure if I got it for myself or if I got it with the intention of giving it to a friend. I don't know. But I'll show it to you anyway. I just thought it was really cool again. It says Fantasmic. This is by Bill Robinson. Got the dragon, Maleficent. We've got Mickey as well here looking really cool very uh, it's just great i don't know fantastic is one of my favorite shows in disney world so it might have been for myself i can't remember and then i got this moana one again not sure if i'll keep it i might give it away um but again i just really enjoyed her face on it look how cute she looks these are the few um cards that i got it's so easy to spend money on these because you see one and you're like oh you know it's not a bad price and then you end up buying quite a few and then it adds up but again no regrets love them all clothes Let's get to clothes next. So I did end up buying quite a, quite a few Disney clothes and tops and stuff because again, it's one of those things where I feel like it's an investment because I'll wear them in the future. It's not like I'll only wear them at the park and that's it. I wear Disney tops on a regular basis. I wear them in London. I wear them on my way to work. Like it's a thing, guys. So the first one I'm gonna show you uh, is this. And also, sorry that it's very like, it's definitely not iron. It's very scrumpled at the moment because I only opened the suitcase like before showing this vlog and filming this vlog and so trying to fit all my clothes in the suitcase I had to like do this with quite a lot of my clothes and I haven't managed to iron them yet and basically just ignore the creases on them but this is the first one I want to show you I just really like it very simple it's blue the colors really nice we've got a Mickey kind of tie-dyed situation in the middle very simple design again and on the sleeve on the right sleeve here it says Walt Disney World which I like. We're very colourful. Again, you guys know I like colour. There's nothing on the back. This was, I think I got this from World of Disney, $39.99. I really like it. I feel like hopefully it'll be very comfortable as well. I haven't tried it on, but I feel like it will be and I can wear it. Like I said, it's anywhere. <laughs> the next few tops. <laughs> oh God, I wore these at Disney World and Magic Kingdom on our last day. And if you want to check out like quite a few hilarious series of pictures of me with them, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Sam forgot the link is down below. Um, but I saw these in Disney Springs and I just had to get all three of them. There were four of them actually. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, the first one is this one. It says, I'm here for the rides. I like uh, the colour of this, it's basically like very, very Tumblr-esque, Instagram-esque, I don't know. Um, and I like the rise, you know, it's got Space Mountain on here and 
the teacups and the pirate ship over there. I love rides. Anyway, I go to Disney or any Disney holiday, I always go on rides. I can't not go on rides. I have to at least do one ride, I feel like. Although it doesn't matter if I don't because I don't only go for rides, you know what I mean? So this is cool, very relevant, but not the only reason I go to, for, for Disney World. Um, I also go to Disney World, of course, for the photos. Like, who doesn't want to get a nice Instagram when they're at Disney? So that's why I also had to get this one, which is red. Same kind of design, same kind of vibe, just a different colour. So I'm here for the photos. And we've got the castle, and I think it's Mickey's hands with a camera. I love this a lot. And then the last one that I got, this actually needs to be washed, so... Because I managed to spill some cookie chocolate on it because it was melting. And again, go and check out my vlogs if you want to find out how that happened. But um, this one says I'm here for the food, which is also true. Like, Disney World especially does so many great Disney snacks and foods and stuff. Love the popcorn. I've got, I love the Mickey shaped ice cream here, the pretzel. Very, very cute. They also had one that said, what did it say? I think it said I'm only here for, oh, I actually can't remember. But whatever it was, I don't think was very relevant to me. I wish they had one that said, like, I'm only here for the characters or I'm only here for the parades. But they didn't have that. I can't remember what the fourth one was, but I didn't get that one nonetheless. But um, yeah, I enjoy this a lot. I feel like it's something that I can wear again on a regular basis. They're very nice and thin material as well, so very good for Disney World. The next item I got from, I think it was um, Animal Kingdom. My friend Rakaya spotted this actually. And she kind of jokingly pointed this to me and she was like, oh my god, that would be so cool because we were staying in a pirate themed room in a Caribbean beach. And she didn't think I'd actually buy it, but I looked at it and I was like, I think I want it. And it's this top here. Um, it just says, eat, sleep, yo-ho, repeat. I just felt like it was so appropriate for the hotel room that we were staying in, and I wore it in the hotel room a few times. Um, and I feel like, again, it's something that I would wear on a regular basis, like, I like pirates, they're fun. Um, so it's not like I won't make the most of the use of them, or I can't even speak. I'll wear this again, is what I'm trying to say. Um, this was, I don't know what the price was, but I like it a lot, very nice and simple. The next thing I actually got from uh, when I went to New York to see Frozen, and it's a Frozen top because I love the show so much that I had to buy a t-shirt, guys. Like, I don't normally do this when I see a show. I very rarely buy, like, uh, t-shirts and, like, outfits. Normally I just get, like, a mug or a keyring, if that, just a program normally. But I love Frozen too much and I had to get the t-shirt. It just says Frozen on Broadway. Or the Broadway musical, sorry. I liked, obviously, I love the, the colours as well. Very blue. Um, this was... I don't know why, sorry about the message I got. I don't know why it doesn't say the prices on them, but I would imagine it was like, it'd be at least $20. Worth it though, definitely gonna use it. The next thing that I got is this um, Mouseketeer uh, jumper, I guess you can call it, which I love. So I got this because we uh, had a $200 gift card, which me and Rakai split, so we had $100 each. And we spent like a day or an evening in um, Disney, World of Disney, in Disney Springs, just kind of trying to use that money. And I probably wouldn't have bought this if I didn't have that gift card, but I knew that I had like an extra hundred dollars, and I was like, why not spend it on something like this, you know? Uh, this probably would have been about 40 or 50 dollars, but I really enjoy it. I love the design. Like I said, red, black and white are three of my favourite colours kind of to wear. I'm kind of wearing the same thing now. It's really convenient because it's Mickey's colours. And I just love Mickey's happy face on here. And I've always loved the Mouseketeer face. It's just, it's very, it screams like old school Disney to me. Yeah, I love it. I love the Mouseketeer logo. It just says Mickey Mouse Club, this one. And I love the colours on them as well. Like the kind of black line here. And the bottom as well is really cool with red, black and white. I actually did wear this. I wore this in New York on one of our days there. And I loved it a lot. Going with the same theme, I also got this bag. Which is very much the exact same design as the um, jumper that I just showed you. This is a lounge fly bag, which was also kind of expensive and not something that I would normally spend money on, but because we had the, vo the voucher, the $100 gift card, I was like, why not just go for it? I haven't used this yet. Still got the logo on it. In fact, does it have the price? $75 it was, lordy. Um, that's a lot of money, but like I said, I feel like I would use this a lot in the future um and i love it it's really nice nice leather i feel like there might be some stuff in here so i'm just going to open it just in case i have some disney stuff to show you from in here oh i i do maybe <laughs> i've got some shorts here which i definitely don't need what else do i have what is this oh oh that is so cute i forgot i even got this guys <gasps> Look how cute this is! I think I got this from Hollywood Studios as well. It's a little ornament. Oh, as a Pixar fan, like, I just, oh, I just love it a lot, guys. Uh, it's, I think it's a Christmas ornament, but I feel like you can just have it around whenever. It's really, really nice. Um, can't remember how much this was, does it say on here? 
uh, $21.99, which is a lot, but it's very cute. I'm really glad I found this. Oh, guys, I just found another pair of ears I forgot to show you earlier, and these were actually the very first pair that I got on this holiday. And then the Buzz Lightyear weird ones, like, look at this. Look how cool they are. Like, Buzz isn't even my favourite uh, Pixar character. You guys know I prefer Woody to Buzz, but I do obviously love Buzz as well. And I just thought these were so cool. I love the wings. So you probably can't see it right now, but the back of these is, look at that. How cool is that? And Buzz loved them. Like, I wore these when I met Buzz in Hollywood Studios. I think it was on our fourth or fifth day. He really enjoyed these. Uh, so these were new. I hadn't seen them before. My friend Rakaya spotted these and off course I had to get them they're very very comfortable as well like in fact I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep them on for the rest of this uh, haul um the next things oh let's have, let's see what's in here so I've got this small plastic bag with quite a few stuff in here I'm guessing most of them will be pins yes there are mainly pins and a couple of pens so let me show you the pens first the first pen that I got I like collecting these pens I very rarely use them but I have like a little um, mug Disney mug with all my pens in them just because they look really cute I know I know it's dumb but I just I'm a hoarder guys uh, this is slinky dog obviously if you can tell and I love his ears look how cute his ears are <laughs> oh it's so cute it says Disney parks on it Toy Story as well here and um, I just really enjoyed it loved it a lot then the next uh, pen I got is a, ooh, an Animal Kingdom one, I think. Yeah, you guys know I love Animal Kingdom, and I hadn't seen this pen before. And it's just like a safari kind of Mickey vibe with a Mickey ears and a Mickey hat kind of thing, safari hat. And uh, on the, what do you call this bit of the pen? I don't know. You've got like little shadowy silhouettes of giraffes and different animals and, and I don't know, elephants and everything. I just think it's very, very cute. Let's get to the pins. So... The first pin, of course, is a Caribbean beach pin. Very conveniently, that's the first one I picked up because that's where we were staying at. These are the old Caribbean beach uh, pins. They've now changed them, which is why I have two Caribbean beach uh, hotel pins. Uh, I don't know if I can find the, ne the next one for you now. Oh yeah, there you go, perfect. These are the new ones. And I think the new ones are probably a little bit cuter if it decides to focus. There you go, how cute is this? This is definitely a nicer uh, pin, in my opinion, than the previous Caribbean Beach pin that I showed you. So I saw that one first and I got that and then towards the end of the holiday we spotted this one as well. Um, I think they've changed most of the pins in for most of the resorts, which is fine. Um, and then I got this 2019 Chippendale Epcot pin, uh, just because it had Chippendale. I really wanted to get a pin with 2019 on it. And this one was the one that I, I guess, enjoyed the most, even though Epcot's not my favorite Disney park, but you know, I like Chippendale. Um, I got this really nice pin. I don't know how well you can see it, or hopefully it will focus. But I just really, really like the aesthetics of it. I think it's a beautiful design. Very simple. I've never seen anything like this before, actually. It's very subtle. It's very beautiful. It's just very, very pretty, guys. I loved it. Then we have... <laughs> I love this bit. It's like, it's a small world. Uh, and it's like, go on a small world and repeat it, which is what I like to do. I love going into small world constantly. Not the one in uh, Florida necessarily, because I think it's not as good as the one in Paris. The Paris Disney Small World is like perfect. I love it so much. But the one in Disney World is also quite cute. Um, I think I got two with the Small World pins. So let me show you the next one, because they were just too nice. Uh, there you go. That's the other the Small World pin that I got. I got this from World of Disney so so cute really lovely just love the colors guys i can't get enough of this small world colors smile means happiness and friendship love it so nice then um i got this mouseketeer pin because i like i said i absolutely just i just love this design i think mickey looks so cute and i love the simplicity of it the whole black or a red and white thing i love it so i had to get this pin then i got oh <laughs> random one from hogwarts there you go i've got a castle one from Universal Studios, which I actually got for a friend, so you've now got a glimpse of my Universal stuff. And then the last one, uh, the last pin that I got from Disney is this Pocahontas pin, which I hadn't seen before, and um, you guys know I absolutely adore Pocahontas, and it's a lovely pin, Pocahontas' hair looks phenomenal, colours of the wind and all that, so of course I had to get it. And then the last thing in this uh, plastic bag was this magnet that I got for our fridge, and it's from um, Animal Kingdom, it's some of the Mickey and Minnie on a like, little safari, just thought it was really nice, you know, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Love it, my favourite park, why not get a magnet from it? Lord have legit mercy, there is so much to show you. We're nearing the end though, guys, we're getting there. Um, so, 
spirit jerseys. Uh, if you guys have been watching my vlogs and following me on Instagram and social, you'll know that I've not really been the biggest fan of spirit jerseys. Since they became a thing, I've just been very sceptical about them. Um, I think they look cute, like they're nice, you know, I enjoy pe seeing people wearing them, but I just don't think they're worth the, the amount of money that people pay for them. Um, I think I'd probably pay like $20 for them, max. But having said that, on this trip, I saw a spirit jersey that I just couldn't say no to. I tried it on, it actually looked all right on me. I didn't think it would, um, but it looked all right. And I just couldn't not get it. Like, <laughs> hopefully when I show it to you, you'll understand why, because we've, there's a bit of a theme going on, as you might have probably guessed. And this is the spirit jersey that I got. So as you can tell, this is an Istanbul World spirit jersey. It's very white, it's very colorful. I love the kind of bottom bit of it. I love the design up here and I love the back. It's so cool. Walt Disney World in colourful letters. Like that to me is something that I would wear. Like and I think, I mean I still don't think it's worth like, I don't know, $60 or whatever I paid for this. Probably like 70 actually. But it's nice and I will wear it and I just wanted it and so I had to make an exception. Let's see how much the price was actually. Does it say here? Why doesn't it say it here? Can't remember. It doesn't say it. Uh, still don't think it's like the best material. I honestly don't think these three jerseys are like amazing quality from what I've seen. Genuinely don't think they are. They look nice but I don't think the quality of them is that good. But in any case I still decided to go for this and I can't wait to wear it. I got this on one of our last days so I didn't manage to wear it then. Also it would have been too hot to wear it in Disney World obviously because you know, Florida and all that. Wow, these things just fell. Can you go back up there? As well as that, when I went to New York later on the trip, I went to a Disney store and um, I just had a look. And if there's a whole vlog of me checking out the Disney store in uh, Times Square as well. So if you want to check that out, I'll try and leave a link down below. Otherwise, just go on my channel and type Times Square Disney store. That was great. I love that they had a lot of cool stuff in the Disney store there. And the Disney store in Times Square just looks really cool. There's like a little tangled bit. Really nice. And on the day that I visited it, it happened to be <laughs> the day that they just released quite a lot of Toy Story merch for Toy Story 4. Like the guy there, one of the customers was like, Lord have mercy, look at all the Toy Story stuff we have. And I was like, oh my God. I think they released these spirit jerseys there about like three weeks before they released them here in the UK. And so I got this from the Disney store in New York. It's a Toy Story one, obviously, of course. Is that the back of it? I don't even know whether which one. Yeah, so that is the back of it. There you go, that's the back. Toy Story, really nice, love it. And um, the front of it just, is just clouds which is also nice it's very simple again is it worth like $70 no is the material that good doesn't feel it to me not gonna lie but I just couldn't I just couldn't say no I literally could not say no so again haven't worn this yet but um I am excited to wear it let me see if the price is oh my god yeah so this was $59.95 um yeah $60 kind of roughly without tax that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money, guys. When I got that Toy Story Spirit jersey from the Disney store in NYC, I also decided to go for um, these reusable Toy Story uh, bags, because why not? It's for Toy Story 4. Just love the design of it. Very, very nice. You guys know how much I love Toy Story. It's literally my favourite film of all time. I love it. I adore it. Obviously, I don't know how I'm going to feel about Toy Story 4, but it looks really cool like the, from the trailer and stuff, and it's going to have my favourite characters in it, so obviously I'm going to love it. Um, what's on the other side? Same thing. Woody and Buzz. I got two of them, again, just in case I lose one or one of them gets damaged because I know that I will definitely use these. Uh, speaking of tote bags, I also, and this was my friend Rakaya's idea, they were sending all these like really nicely designed tote bags in all the different parks in Disney World. Um, like, and they were quite a good, like they weren't very expensive, they were maybe like one dollar each or something, depending on the size you went for. And so I decided to, thanks to my friend Rakaya, get one from every different park because I just thought it would look really cool. And um, so this is the Animal Kingdom one, let's start with my favourite. This was a medium one, I think. Maybe was it small? They had a medium one, a small one, and a big one. I think this might be the small version. So this would have been maybe like a dollar or something, or maybe even less than that. So yeah, this is Animal Kingdom. We've got Mickey, you've got Pandora, you've got a rhino, Everest. And then on the other side, it just says Animal Kingdom. I love it, really, really nice. And then I got the, which one's that one? Oh, this one's Magic Kingdom. So the Magic Kingdom one, again, you have Mickey on here. I've got It's a Small World. Um, the train, uh, Space Mountain, and of course Magic Kingdom and the castle on the back. I love this one, it's just one of my favourites because the colour. Which one's this one? Oh, I got a Disney Springs. So they had them like literally not just for the parks but also for some of the places like Disney Springs. This is the Disney Springs one, same size again. It's got Mickey on one side, winking, and then a nicely uh, logoed Disney Springs sign on the other side. And then 
Uh, I got a Disney Walt Disney World. Is that an Epcot one? No, this is oh, this is a generic Walt Disney World one. I love that. There you go. So this is all of them. We've got Epcot and Mickey, um, the Tree of Life, and then Hollywood Studios. And on the back we've got the castle. So this is basically to represent all of Walt Disney World, not necessarily just one of the parks. And then I got this one, which is from World of Disney, because they had their own one there as well. Mickey here, and on the other side we've got all the characters, like Minnie, Donald. Oh, it's like old school Donald as well. Goofy, Mabey, and Pluto. Very nice. And then the last one is Hollywood Studios. So again, we've got Mickey, we've got the parachutes. Um, what's that? Star Wars stuff. And then, what is that? Not quite sure what it is. But on the other side, again, we've got Hollywood Studios. So I just thought they were very nice and together as well. They would look really nice. And something that, again, I can I can definitely use. Maybe not for like shopping necessarily, because they're not big enough for shopping. But like if I'm carrying something small with me, something that I can definitely use. I also did get... Oh, I forgot one of them. I forgot the Epcot one. The Epcot one is this one. <laughs> Obviously. It's so funny that I forgot the Epcot one, because it's my least favourite park. But there you go. The actual um, tote bag from Epcot is probably one of my favourites, because it looks really cool. Very classy. You've got Mickey here, uh, Monorail here, Paris, you know, from the World Showcase. The other side of Epcot that I don't like. And then the ball on this side. But, um, yeah. That's the stack here. I also did get a big, large Magic Kingdom one. So if you're wondering what those are like, that's what they're like. Kind of the same design as the small ones, just bigger. So, yeah. The last few things I want to show you are some magnets that I got from uh, Frozen when I went to see it in New York. One of these is for my friend Sophie, so I'm going to give that to her later today. And then the rest of the next one is for myself, obviously. And then the Harry Potter stuff, if I can remember because I literally, that's literally all I bought from Harry Potter World. Um, I got a few, oh, I think that's literally what I, so basically, yeah, that's all I got. I got three bookmarks, two Gryffindors and one Ravenclaw. The Gryffindor ones are for my friends Devana and Anissa, because they're both Gryffindors like I am. Uh, the, the Ravenclaw ones are for my friend Izzy, because she's a Ravenclaw. I just thought they looked really nice. And I also got this thing, really spur of the moment, but I just thought it was hilarious. It's a Howler pop-up card with sound effect. I haven't used it yet, obviously, but apparently you can like record your voice and it will <laughs> it will just say whatever you want, which I think is hilarious. This is what it's meant to look like. So I think I'm going to use this potentially on my friends Devon and Anissa for their birthday when it comes up in October. I just, I think it'll be so funny. This was $18.95, but I think... I think it's going to be worth it because of all the fun things that I can potentially put in it. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, Lord have legit mercy. That is, I think, the end of the haul. Um, Lord have mercy. I, I didn't think I bought as many things as I actually did, but um, there's a lot of stuff surrounding me at the moment. I hope you enjoyed it, though. Leave comments down below. Let me know what your favourite thing was that I bought. Um, anything you want, any questions that you have. If you haven't checked out my vlogs, go and check them out. I know they're quite long, so... Yeah, I understand that it probably will take you a while to go through them, but I just I just like filming, guys, okay? Um, yeah, check out my the rest of my videos from New York, etc., on my Instagram. Um, I'm going to be going to Disneyland Paris very, very soon. But in fact, by the time you watch this, I'll probably be on my way to Disneyland Paris. I don't know, it probably won't be long before I go again, because I'm going to be there for the Pride event, which is very exciting. So expect more vlogs and hauls and exciting content on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.